Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Jason. Thank you for joining From Good to Great, How to Unleash Your Soul for Peak Performance. In this video, I'm going to share another key for your prosperity. Breaking through your glass ceiling caused by self-defeat or self-sabotage. Most people have a ceiling that they hit when they get to a certain point. I remember watching a commercial where the company said that they were number two. They probably were trying for years to be number one, but someone must have told them that they would always be number two and they should embrace that. So they ran ads saying that they were number two and because of that, they try harder. Often people talk themselves down from trying to be the best at something. It is sort of understood that there can be only one number one. Everyone else is below that. So accepting the position of number two or three or for some people even last is okay because there can only be one number one. It is emotionally and psychologically easier to accept this because what else can you do if it is futile to keep trying to be the best? But this isn't necessarily true. I'll explain this more in my next video on how we can all be great, which leads me to a misconception created in our society. One way our society handles this emotional distress is to make everyone a number one. Someone decided that it would be great if everyone could win and no one loses. This is something that we see today, especially in children's sports and academics. Everyone in a certain league or on a team can receive a medal or trophy, thus everyone wins. In some schools, even at the university level, everyone receives a pass as long as they showed up. There are no grades. They don't want to hurt someone's feelings or damage their emotions because that could scar them for life. Perhaps they think that if you hurt someone's feelings, they'll end up being people who want to sabotage or hurt others too. In this scenario, almost everyone turns into villains or supervillains at some point. If this is the case and trying to be number one is futile because it is only for a select few, then why try to break through your psychological barrier or ceiling? In both cases where competition determines the value of a company or individual or where everyone is selected to win, the underlying motivation has to do with an individual's self-esteem or self-worth. We all have delicate egos. This psychological barrier is created in our own minds. People sabotage their own lives with negative thinking and negative self-talk because they don't feel valuable or worthy. Someone in their life told them that they were not good enough or treated them as though they were trash or worthless. When someone doesn't feel worthy, they will tend to sabotage themselves. They won't let themselves win or succeed or be promoted. They will do something that will cause them to fail. People who go on diets and start to exercise and eat right who can't seem to stay on track, it is most likely that they don't feel worthy or feel good about themselves. They will do something to cause themselves to fail. They will get injured working out or they will quit dieting because they were invited to someone's house for dinner and they usually are expected to eat a lot. So they break their diet because they don't want to disappoint the host. They don't do it consciously, but their subconscious programs are telling them, hey, you aren't worthy of being fit and healthy. Or you think people are going to think you're pretty if you lose some weight? Ha, good luck with that. Those are not your words or your voice. Somewhere in your life or childhood or even when you were in the womb, you felt or heard that you weren't wanted or loved or worthy. One thing you can do right now is to change those words. Your negative words and feelings are sent out into the universe. People can feel your lack of confidence or fear. People who went into lion's cages were told that they shouldn't feel fear or the lions would know and they would be attacked. The lions could sense something in the person that made them vulnerable. When you speak or think negative thoughts, your negative feelings of low self-esteem or self-worth or fear are sent out and the lions in our society will devour you. You can stop self-sabotage. Try this now and for the next couple of days, start to listen to your own self-talk. How often is it negative? How often is it positive? On the average, most people have many negative thoughts throughout the day. Then every day from now on, I want you to program the positive into your soul. Every time you catch yourself thinking or saying something negative, stop. Instead, say or think the positive, something that will lift your soul. You could say something like, I love and accept myself right now or I am worthy of love. This will be difficult in the beginning, but keep doing it and it will change. Forming good habits for your thoughts and words will take you on a good to great journey. Hope this helps and encourages you. Let me know how you overcame your negative self-talk. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe to my channel from Good to Great Academy and unleash your soul for peak performance in love, health, and wealth. See you next time for more tips on how to heal and prosper your soul.